What's up guys, this is Mark from Phonesome and today I'll be showing you guys a quick little tutorial on how to downgrade from iOS 13.0 back to 12.3.1. So I'm gonna just show you guys that I am on iOS 13.0 right now in the about settings. After that, I've tried to reset it, factory reset, reset all the settings, but this damn profile right here for iOS 13 beta will not go away. So the only way to do this is through iTunes. But first and foremost, guys, if you guys have an iCloud, please sign into your iCloud and back it up on there. Let's go into this tutorial. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys that I have, do have a few pictures on the phone that I really want to keep. That's on iOS um, 13. Um, I'm gonna put some test messages right now to see if they come back. If they don't come back, again, this is why I tell you guys, please back up your information on the iCloud. But this, this should get you situated if I'm correct. All right, so let me just send a message to myself. Test, test. Okay, put a note there. All right. All right, so after you guys, after I just showed you guys that um, I basically have some messages, some pictures, and some notes on the phone that I wanna back up and not lose the data. So now we'll go to iTunes, guys. After we go to iTunes, we're gonna click backup now. After we click back up now, guys, we're gonna go straight into Google Chrome on a sec, it's gonna load up. Go to the website called IPSW.me. And over here, we're gonna download our software. So if you don't know what your own iOS is, it is a little aggressive. So we're gonna go to the left and click identify my device, click iPhone. After we click iPhone, your model number can be found right here. Or if you go into settings, Go into settings, do you scroll down, go to general and about. After you go to about, oh, model number. If you tap it, the model number will start with A1. A1, my, and as in my situation, mine is A1688. Click enter, it's fairly fast. After you get that, guys, now there it goes. So you're gonna click download iOS 12.3.1. Wait for that to download, and guys, then you're gonna go back to the backup. As you can see, I did back just back up my phone. So now, what we're gonna do after this is done downloading, we're gonna just restore it to iTunes and let's give it a few minutes, guys. All right, give me a few. All right, guys, after that, just finished downloaded. Now we're gonna go back to iTunes and click Shift, well, tap Shift on the keyboard, then click Restore iPhone. Now we're gonna go to the file we just downloaded, which is the iOS 12.3.1 for our iPhone 6S or whatever iPhone you may have. Click that and click restore. So as that restore process is going, we're basically gonna go change some settings in that backup that we did for the phone. So we're gonna go to run. After we go to run, we're gonna go to user profile and we'll go to the Apple folder. However, if you don't see this folder, when you do that, click run again. Put the little cache and go use app data. However, if you download it, iTunes from the Microsoft Store, it won't be an app data, it will be a user profile. So let's go back to user profile. Tap that, tap this, user profile. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Apple, Mobile Sync, and then go to backup. And as since this is our only backup right here, guys, we're gonna click that, and we're gonna scroll all the way down, okay? So we're gonna right click right here, go to open with, and we're gonna open with Notepad. I'm gonna toggle, toggle not to always use Notepad because we never know what we're gonna do again. And guys, look, so this is like a string or a code text, which um, we're gonna change to 12.3.1, which will allow us to restore this backup onto the phone that we had. Keep going, keep going. We're looking for device product version or product version. Okay, there it goes. So guys, we're gonna change this right here to 12. Point three, point one. All right, and we're gonna go right here to the file and click save. So as we're done with that, let's let the phone finish restoring and then we're gonna flash the backup to the phone and hopefully we'll have all our data.
so the backup has well the restore has just been finished and now we can just go to our computer and click to restore from the backup that we did and again guys it went through because we changed it from ios 13 to 12.3.1 using the you know on the little notepad and everything all right so give it a few seconds and it will shoot that backup and i'll see what got saved and um hopefully what did not get deleted perfect all right so the backup has just finished shooting to the phone so I go through that setup click continue so later, don't use so i already see guys that it already took the um the brightness that's low on the phone that i left so that's great to see that's a good sign agree yeah, we don't need none of this okay disable get started all right so let's check messages oh okay guys so again like i said let's check our notes no notes are here that i left okay let's go to pictures okay however our pictures are still here guys so as you can see this method that i seen um i i seen it on youtube already i was just trying to make it a little better i see that it does have some bugs and kickbacks basically you won't get your messages and your notes back however pictures and let's say media behind the screen and app data you will still have however you won't again get your pictures i mean you won't get your, your messages and your notes that's what i'm seeing but besides that you do get your full app data my brightness is still at the same height it was at um and yeah guys so that's all i can say again like i repeated in the beginning please <laughs> back up your device on icloud as well all right so you can restore it from any ios and you can use it again <laughs> all right guys so you guys thank you for coming in and tuning in to phone smith um you guys please like comment share and subscribe